Hey, good morning guys, it's Jim from jagfx.com and it is Tuesday the 11th of April 2017. Uh, the start of a new trading week, it's Monday's a nothing day as usual, yesterday. Uh, first up, welcome to any new members um, here on the, either the YouTube channel or anyone subscribed to my Facebook group. Um, in the Facebook group, um, if you haven't already, it's a good place to go just to see the daily uh, all my trades, I post the majority of them live and you can um, see the setups etc in there. Alright, before we get into the charts, let's just have a quick look at the news. Uh, fairly quiet week. Um, Yellen's already spoke earlier this morning. Um, Bank of England, Carney speaks tomorrow. Um, the, probably the big news this week is this Canadian, their um, interest rates, I guess you could say. They're expecting no change. It's at half a percent at the moment, and that's supposed to remain that way, but that will possibly move the Canadian pairs. Um, there's employment figures out of the Aussie, just the usual stuff out of the US. Um, there's really not much at all. Core retail sales can sometimes move the market out of the US on Friday, but other than that, it's a fairly quiet week. Just the Canadians, probably the big one. You just watch that on Wednesday. Uh, interest interest rates, Canadian dollar. All right, let's have a look at the charts. As usual, we'll just go through my daily charts. So I won't worry about the eight hour or twelve hour or any other time frame I'll just go through the, the daily charts they're just the ones they're the bread and butter ones for me probably the most boring but they're the ones I like trading so we'll go through the ones that we're doing the live trading with and that's um, uh, there's about 15 pairs I think remaining at the moment so we'll start with the Aussie New Zealand nothing happening here um, I guess my next trade is going to be a buy looking at the MACD is it's a funny looking ugly sort of straight down which is sort of unusual for this sort of indicator but that's the way it's heading at the moment I've drawn my green trend lines under here just to indicate some possible divergence setting up obviously need a lot more confirmation but it's um, it just gives me a heads up that divergence may be forming um, you can see the MA's are going up so price is coming back into the MA's so ideally I'd be looking for a price to drop down further and bounce up and out of the MAs. So if the price come down and up like that and through that trend line. That's the plan in a way. Let's better move that. Let's move that out of the way. All right, let's move on. Euro USD um, in a cell closed um, two already. So my stops at break even. My stops up here in the, on the red line. That's my entry. So when you see a red vertical line, dashed line like that, that's a cell, that's the candle, the signal candle, and the red horizontal line's a level actually sold at. So it's basically on the open of the candle straight after. And you can see it's gone down nicely. I've closed 0.002 of my 0.03 position, and my stop's now break even. Don't worry about these other lines on here, that's just got a, I've got a um, EA running in the background. So yeah, it's come down through, the MACD's come down through the zero level and it looks like it's just losing a bit of steam down here. And yeah, you know, there's a chance it may get to this sort of level, price level here, support. But at the moment we're in a sell, which is a good thing. Moving on to the Euro Yen. Um, again, same sort of deal. Uh, a sell up here, in the, you see the red lines, how they sort of cross, that's the entry point. Come down, it's, um, it was only a 0.02 trade, closed half already. Um, I've dragged my stop down a bit here, it's now down just on the 240 LMA. And the reason I did that, I've got a blue dot uh, down on the MACD platinum. I can see I've already started to look to the long side of uh, the bullish divergence lines, but it's <laughs> the end is not letting up at the moment, so let's just keep on. Um, gaining strength which means because it's a second pair the second currency in the pair it's dropping sorry about that just got a coffee going at the same time should have had that before I started the video let's move on the pound New Zealand I mean two cells on this 
two red lines, two red lines, you can see it all. That yellow dashed line is my overall break even. I've got another red um, dot on the MACD Platinum. It's grinding down slowly towards that zero level. I prefer it to stay above the zero level so it gives me a chance to get a, another trade. Ideally, I'm looking for a red QMP dot. Uh, as you can see, my last one was a blue one here. If I get a red QMP, that would give me a third trade. And I'll take that sell. But at the because there's plenty of divergence here, as you can see the regular bearish divergence. The MACD is dropping down, whereas price is still heading up. But price is starting to sort of consolidate now. You can look across the left here, it's at a previous sort of high. So it, it may stall here and drop down, which would be ideal if I get a red dot, I could take a third sell trade there. But at the moment, it's not looking that good. But plenty of time yet. Let's move on to Canadian, USD, Canadian dollar. Um, bit of a mixed bag, this one. I'm not really sure what's going on. It's, it's been a tough one to trade, as I say, every week. I'm just having problems with it. I don't know why. I know it's affected by commodities and that, but it's it's, it's not an easy pair to trade sometimes. <laughs> you know, I'm determined to have a win with it. But at the moment, there's, um, there's nothing really doing. Um, there's a buy signal here, but it just didn't look right. And as you can see, it's probably a good thing in hindsight. It dropped away quickly, so I'm glad I didn't take it. But what may happen is it may come down further down here and it may present with another buy signal. MACD rolls over and we get some sort of divergence or something like that, then we could take it to the long side. But at the moment, there's nothing happening. And we just have to wait and see what happens. Aussie, Canada. Uh, Again, the Canadian uh, Canadian pair uh, it's down on the 240 LMA at the moment. I'm in no trades as you can see, so I'd be looking to go long on my next trade. Um, it'd be nice if it gets a bounce here and this everything rolls up to the upside. I would take the long, but at the moment it's in no man's land and just waiting. Aussie Swiss franc now in two buy trades here instead of being red because they're buy it's blue so we've got blue lines uh, pardon me and the yellow line still my overall break even so i'm a little bit in the in the poo on this one but nothing to get too worried about um, i like how the fact that the macd is still well below the the um the zero level and we've got a red dot now if it rolls over a little bit or even gives me another blue dot, it'll give me, and it'll give me another opportunity to get a trade. My last signal on the QMP was a blue dot, so that's still valid buy signal on the QMP, but it's not on the um, MACD Platinum. So if I wanted to, and I'll, I'll consider this if it happens, is if I get a blue dot on the MACD Platinum, and that blue dot on the QMP is still the last signal then I could possibly take a buy signal just based on that MACD Platinum I'll probably end up drawing a trend line through here and look for a trend line break so I'll give you an idea what I'm talking about some sort of trend line through there doesn't have to be spot on just something that gives me an indication of what's going on and because it's not so just a trend line I'll, I'll color them aqua blue just so it's different from my bullish or bearish divergence so yeah look for a break of that to the upside it'll be right <laughs> famous last words euro aussie another one i'm in two trades two cells is my overall break even down here similar to the aussie swiss franc except it's on the upside um still got a red qmp so as i said pretty well identical to the, um, the Aussie Swiss franc just on the reverse side of the cells instead of buys and on the other side of the MACD platinum so ideally want it to roll over again break that trend line take a third sell trade and get some pips pound USD great British pound I'm in a sell here uh, I went in for 0.03 is a recent trade went against me a little bit 
It's came down nicely. Price was, uh, the MACD was getting close to zero level. And I actually closed out 0.01 in here somewhere. So I've got a few pips there, then put my stop at break even. Uh, I just don't like the look of the setup, even though it's with the trend in that. Uh, my stop is still holding at the moment, just. Um, but it's just a matter of time. So we are on a trade. We've made a couple of pips, but it's not going to be a big, big one, this one. Let's have a look at USD Japan. I'm in a buy here. Uh, price has come down to the 240 LMA, and you can see it's just riding it at the moment. Absolutely riding it. Now, this is a daily chart, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, getting up close to five trading days in a week, getting close to three weeks in just this sideways action here. Hardly setting the world on fire, but you know, it was a decent, well, not a decent downtrend, but it wasn't a bad little downtrend there when you compare it to a, this big uptrend over here. It's pretty tiny, but it's still a downtrend. It's a 240 LMA. You can see my divergence here. Just wanted to head up and burst through there. That's the plan. Pound Aussie. Ah, we're going to sell here, which is obviously not very good. Uh, the good thing is the MACD is still above the zero level, which is, I like that. Uh, I took it on the divergence. Ah, it's, price is getting up near the 240 LMA. Look, it's it's not exactly set the world on fire the way it's heading up there. So they lose these candles. They're just losing a bit of steam. The MACD is ugly as. Ideally, I want to see, and look, we've still got a red QMP. So we get a decent break of this trend line. I'll take a second trade there and try and write it down. Moving on, New Zealand, one that's causing me a bit of grief that I should have probably been out a long time ago, but I'm still in, so I'm going to have to try and work my way out of it. I'm in two buy trades. You can see the yellow line, my overall break even, so that's a fair way away. When I say that, it's not really, but it's you know, it's just over 100 pips away, which is not too bad. So at the moment, I'm looking for it to roll over, drop down maybe a little bit further, then grind its way back up. So price to come down maybe a bit further, break through this trend line and head up. I'll take a third trade and we'll be out of this one. But at the moment, even though it looks a bit ugly, there's like one buy trade up there, another one there, and the price is down here. That doesn't worry me. My money management's fine and there's no dramas. I've just got to be patient, that's all. And with the daily charts, it could take forever. Moving on, Euro-Canadian. Um, not much doing here. Another Canadian pair that's sort of dropping away a bit. Um, as you can see by the MACD, it's heading down pretty savagely. Eventually it will turn, it just won't keep on going forever. The MACD I'm talking about, um, <laughs> twice could drop forever. Um, but I've drawn these green trend lines in there just to give me some heads up that there's possible bearish, I'm uh, sorry, bullish for green divergence happening. MAs are starting to tighten up, so I'm just, it just gives me a heads up, you know, I'll just put it on the chart. There's, there's no QMP or MACD platinum signals to confirm the divergence, but it's certainly forming may not end up that way but that's the way it looks at the moment let's have a look at the euro pound ah, it's another yeah it hasn't really gone much at all this pair look at the ma's very flat very flat three of them are just about on top of each other at the moment so I'm, i'd be happy to trade either direction on this again there's not much happening um, come down from the cell sort of signal down here and now we've got a blue qmp dot uh, so blue MACD dot waiting on a green QMP. Um, I've drawn my possible divergence lines in, so it's just a matter of waiting. Nothing happening though. Pound Swiss franc. I'm in a sell here. Um, I haven't placed a stop as yet, so I'm just trying to see how it goes. It's just below the entry level at the moment. Um, MACD is still above the zero level, so it's still, to me, we're in sell territory. Ignore these uh, other lines. Again, that's that EA running in the background. It's obviously doing nothing. Hence the notes there. 
Um, the, trend, the trend is down, I guess you could say, the MAs. It's hard, a bit hard to see in here, all the red, but they're starting to flatten out. So, And finally, New Zealand, Japan. Um, New Zealand yen, I'm in a buy here, which is a fair way up there, and like a lot of the yen pairs, it's just heading down that nice channel. So again, plenty of divergence, bullish divergence here. Eventually it will break. Eventually it will break to the upside somewhere and I will be taking the second trade. At the moment we've got a blue dot on the MACD Platinum and no last on the QMP was a red dot up here. So really we need a, a blue dot to form price to sort of bounce up, break that trend line, we'll take the second trade and that's the plan. So that's it guys for the... Um, the live trades I'm following now I'll just switch over now as you know if you have been following me Facebook group I've got a demo account going on the daily charts with every pair that just about is known to mankind <laughs> oh no there's a lot see I'll bring up a list here so all these pairs here so I've just been picked every pair there is on the daily chart this is a demo account now what I'm doing is with me, the markets, the new daily candle for me is at 4 a.m. local, which in anyone's language is a real pain to get up for in the morning. So ideally, um, I'd, I'd like to check the charts at 8 a.m. So this demo account's just a bit of an experiment to see if getting up four hours later and checking the charts basically anywhere between sort of 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. every day if it makes any difference overall to the actual trading uh, if price is gone in like um, say at 4 a.m. there's a buy signal and um, price had dropped below that I would take the buy signal immediately at 8 a.m. or but if price had gone, say, against me, say it moved 100 pips already in the direction of the buy trade, then I wouldn't take the trade. But if the, if the signal is still valid, I'd set up buy limit order. So if price comes down back to the entry level, then I'd be in that trade. Uh, if it's only moved a few pips, say, say 20 pips or something, I might just take the trade at market. So just want, want something I want to try, see if it can save me getting up at the 4am and trade multiple pairs. The only issue I see is maybe on exits, that 4 hours might make a difference, but generally for me that's the Asian session, so really the only pairs affected are the Aussie pairs, possibly New Zealand and Yen pairs, but we'll see how it goes. I've only been running for a few days, and as you can see at the moment, uh, I'll just move this out of the way. Um, we're only down $158 in, um, in overall trades at the moment, open trades, so it's not too bad. Uh, my count history, I've closed a couple of small trades, cancelled a couple of orders, so $21 up, woohoo! <laughs> it's only early days, only early days. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes, that's on my demo account, so looking forward to hopefully that'll work so if you get up at 4 a.m trust me on that one so that's about it guys um again thanks for being a part of the group facebook group or a subscriber on the youtube channel and as usual you can always email me i think my new email address is um, admin at jagfx.com or you can still do the jagfx33 at gmail.com either or or get on the facebook group and have a look and um Anyone's got any questions or just wants to chat Forex in general, more than happy to assist. So thanks again, guys. Look after yourselves and be careful at Canadian news on Wednesday. Cheers.